Hello, and welcome to Tour Obscure, episode number three. And just behind me, you'll be able to see Rotherham Minster, which is one of the most prominent landmarks on the Rotherham skyline, and very impressive. But we're not here for that today. Because if you look just in front of that, you'll see a small chapel. And that is the Chapel of Our Lady. And it's one of only four surviving chapels what are situated on a bridge within the UK. So we're gonna go and have a little look around that and see what it's got to offer. So this story all begins with the bridge, of course. Now, 1385, there were documents showing references to a bridge in this area. So this road, what we're stood on, was originally the main road from London all the way up to Richmond in North Yorkshire. So quite a vital piece of infrastructure for the country at that time. So as we said, there's a bridge on this site in documents from 1385, however, in 1483, a new bridge was built, obviously showing the importance of this route, the main route from London to Richmond. And alongside it was built the chapel. During its first stint as a place of worship, the chapel was mainly used by travelers using the London to Richmond road to pray for a safe journey. It was closed as a chapel in 1547 following the act for the dissolution of colleges and chantries coming into force, and the building was handed over to what was then the first ever town council of Rotherham. In the mid-1500s, this place was converted into what was known as an almshouse. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, I certainly wasn't before researching this video. An almshouse is a place of sanctuary for poor people or vulnerable people from the local area uh, if they were struggling. And that's what this place was converted into after it ceased being a chapel. The Alms House lasted until the 1700s, when surprisingly this place, despite its size, was converted into a prison. It was the local prison where criminals would be kept until being transferred to larger prisons if their crimes deemed necessary. But I'll show you some photos from inside now, and it shows you underneath where the prisoners were kept, the original cell door has actually got the original graffiti on still. In 1826, a brand new prison was opened in Rotherham along with a brand new courthouse. And that meant that this place was no longer needed to be a prison. It was then transformed into a private residence for many years until it became a tobacconist and a news agent in the 1800s and now for me we get to the most interesting part of this building during the English Civil War Rotherham was a parliamentarian town and there was actually a battle on this very bridge what I'm stood on during the English Civil War and this chapel still shows scars from that there's actually huge dents left in the wall of the chapel from where muskets were fired and hit the chapel. And as we approach the chapel, you can see these dents in the wall from where the muskets were fired at it. So these marks date all the way back to the English Civil War. Quite incredible. So just looking at these marks from the Civil War, I can spot at least 10 just on this side of the building alone. So it must have took quite a battering, but it's uh, still intact. In 1913, the chapel was bought by Charles Stoddart, who closed down the shop with the intention of reverting the chapel to its original use. However, 
he sadly died before any restoration took place. The restoration work finally took place in the early 1920s, and the chapel was reopened in 1924, and has remained a place of worship to this very day. Despite being so small, the chapel has a huge amount of history. Nestled between the bus station and Rotherham Central Station, it's easy to miss, but when you do discover this hidden gem, it certainly doesn't disappoint. So that's it from Rotherham. We'll be back next time with another hidden gem to see what we can find. Smash that like button if you enjoy what we do. A subscription would be appreciated and also check out uh, Buy Me A Coffee. Link is in the description below and I will see you next time.